would like to thank Sages for the opportunity to present the following video. Over the next few minutes, we will review the vertical sleeve gastrectomy as it is performed at the University of Missouri by Dr. Stephen Scott, Dr. Roger De La Torre, and myself. At our institution, we decide to offer a sleeve procedure to our patients who have a BMI of 60 or greater who also have significant comorbid conditions and are deemed to be high risk. We use this procedure as part of a staged approach to weight loss. The first stage involves exercise along with dietary changes as far as dietary education along with high protein diet. The next stage involves the sleeve procedure and the final stage involves the conversion of the sleeve procedure to that of a classic Roux and Y gastric bypass. This slide demonstrates the gastric sleeve anatomy at the completion of surgery. The patient positioning for this surgery is essentially the same as that for the laparoscopic Roux and Y gastric bypass. However, the trocar placement varies somewhat, as you can see diagrammed in this slide. During the procedure, the patient is placed in steep reverse Trendelenburg position and the liver retractor is placed. Dissection at the angle of hiss is performed so as to allow positioning for the later gastric sleeve. The greater omenum is then dissected off of the greater curvature of the stomach using the harmonic scalpel. Intraoperative EGD is performed. The scope is placed along the lesser curvature of the stomach and down into the second portion of the duodenum. This can be visualized during this portion of the video. Next, the gastric sleeve is created using an Ethicon 45 mm endo stapler. This stapler will also have Veritas dry strips on it so as to provide for additional buttressing of the vertical sleeve gastrectomy site. Approximately two centimeters from the edge of the scope along the lateral aspect, the sleeve gastrectomy is created, extending up to the angle of hiss. Next, the gastric remnant is removed from the left lowermost trocar site.
Next, the staple line is inspected and tested for a leak. The Penrose drain is placed along the lateral edge of the stomach along the staple line and the trocars are removed under direct visualization. This portion of the video demonstrates what the gastric sleeve would look like on an upper GI. This concludes the presentation. Again, I would like to thank SAGES, the University of Missouri, Dr. De La Torre, Dr. Scott, as well as the University of Missouri Audiovisual Department for their help in creating this video and for the opportunity to present this video at SAGES.